welcome to the Voice of the Coast. I am your host, Danica Foley. With me, we have Mustang Mike. You know his face. I'm sure you've seen him around town. He's with Gulf State Wrestling. He's the promoter as well as a wrestler. We have Mr. Bill Gessel, who's Toys for Tots coordinator. And it is about that time again. Like, we haven't gotten even through, uh, through Thanksgiving, but it's time to rev it up for Christmas time. And, of course, it's always a pleasure to have both of you here, especially having a year off because of COVID and how much it pretty much affected a lot of the events uh, in our area. Now, it's good to have it, have it back. Seasons beatings five. Yes. And yes. this all started as far as the, the collaboration with the two of you back in 2018, mm -hmm. then 2019, 2020, we took a break and we're back in 2021. How does it feel to be back? Well, it's great to be back. Uh, we was off for a year and a half with wrestling in the state. Uh, we had our first show back in July, uh, which was our Cajun Heat. We had uh, over 900 people at the auditorium, so that was a great success to be able to come back and have be in front of the live fans and all again. So uh, now we have Seasons Beatings 5, which is our fifth event for Seasons Beatings, and it's our third annual Toys for Tots that we, me and Mr. Bill got together three years, uh, four years ago now and uh, talked about doing this toy drive, and it's been a good good partnership for, for both of us. Right. Now let's actually talk about Toys for Tots and also how it pretty much affected, you know, toy donations and distribution because we've had to have, you know, such a, a low point in, I guess, history for everybody. Right. Um, how do you think you'll be able to rebound? Oh, it's going to be tough. COVID was rough last year. People were shopping online. They weren't going into the stores. Our toy boxes were empty half the time that we picked them up. Um, it was a challenging year last year. We were able to get everybody toys that who had signed up, but um, it was tough. Yeah, but hopefully with the help of both of you guys teaming up, tag team that is, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. So you guys are able to hopefully fill in the gap. So tell me about uh, the wrestlers. I mean, you have wrestlers from all over. Where do they come from? Yeah, well, here's the flyer. If you see Seasons Beatings 5 there, we've got guys from all over the place. We also have a lot of local guys, myself, uh, Killer Shane, uh, Michael White, Pretty Tony. Those are all guys. Uh, actually, Stone Man, he's not on the flyer. He's okay. a late addition. Uh, they're all local guys. And then we have some guys that travel in from Baton Rouge, Lafayette. But we have guys that come as far as from Texas all the way to Alabama. Uh, matter of fact, our, our main star coming in this year is Ray Fury. He's a luchador coming all the way from Cuba. Okay. So, um, you know, the guys, whenever we're doing a fundraiser and something good, they always want to help out and be involved. Um, and we're just happy to have all the guys that support us with our GC, GSW roster. Right. Now, of course, again, back to the collaboration with the two of you. How does that work? You are given monies or you take your proceeds. How does that work where you're able to donate these toys and give monetary donations to St. Mary Detachment. Right. Well, the last couple of years what we've done uh, is we get a lot of local sponsors that help out. They'll make donations. They give us the money we take and put in the fund. And as we go through the process of paying for the expenses of the show, the building and advertising and whatnot, we start taking monies out and buying toys in advance. Uh, the last two, sh two uh, shows that we had, we was able to pick up between fifteen and seventeen hundred dollars worth of toys that went toward Toys for Tots. Uh, then also at the show, fans bring toys and add. There'll be boxes there that they can always bring toys as well. So, between reaching out with ticket sales, uh, sponsors, and local fans, we take percentages of those money and go in and we buy toys in advance. That way, when we get there at the show, Mr. Bill and the group for Marine Corps have all the toys already there to better take home with them and get them dispersed for the for the kids yeah. now mike ahead. and stephanie do a fantastic job and when we walked in that room and there was just toys all along the back wall it was it was impressive they do a great job yes and i know that's definitely going to help out for for you this year especially like I said, having that deficit last year uh, and not having the toys that mm -hmm. you really wanted you want an abundance because you want to have some for the next year to come. I mean, you always have just a reserve. We like to have a little carryover next, the, the following year just to start. But then again, if there's a, if there's a house fire, if there's something during the year, yeah. we're always there throughout the year to help out. That's um, perfect because most people think it's just for Christmas time. Yeah, no, it is not. I mean, right. we, we are there to, to help out year round. We have the warehouse where we can store toys. And if we don't give everything out, and we try to give out as much as we can, but we don't pick up the boxes until the week between Christmas and New Year's. So a lot of the stuff we pick up between Christmas and New Year's is our 
is our seed for the following year. Now, of course, I know there's requirements. I mean, what type of toys, uh, what's your age group that you, that you really need? Yeah, we go newborn through, through 12 year old. And um, the hardest part we have is, is the nine to 12 year old kids because we don't buy a lot of electronic stuff. We, we buy games that you know, yeah. make, them, make them do things, uh, right. basketballs, footballs. And, right. um, so we keep away from the, the, the electronics. So of course, you know, there'll be boxes just about at uh, your banks, various locations, even here at KWBJ. Make sure it's a new unwrapped toy. And of course, we have one more segment. Come on back right here on The Voice of the Coast with yours truly. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. Let's get right back into it. Toys for Tots, everyone's so excited because we also have the Marine Band, Marine Reserve Band that comes through. Correct. And also there's a kickoff with the motorcycle poker run, and you guys have also added a gumbo cook-off. Right. The Marine Band will be here December 7th. It's a okay. Tuesday night at the auditorium. Borrowing any COVID restrictions, they're, they're going to make the... They're going to make the circuit. Yeah. So we have them coming December 7th. And this weekend, the 13th, we have our motorcycle run along with a gumbo cook-off at Mama G's Saturday afternoon. Now, of course, when it comes to a cook-off, everyone loves a good gumbo. Uh, how many teams are you expected to be in I think, attendance? I think we have nine or ten signed up already, and mm -hmm. we're still taking more. If you got the best gumbo around, come on out and cook. And where can they go or who do they contact? What's the number? Keith Leonard at Mama G's. Okay. Uh, just, just get with him. No entry fee. Oh, um, nice. All the proceeds are going to Toys for Tots. We're going to sell 16 ounce cups of gumbo for $5. Okay. And um, all the proceeds go to Toys for Tots that day. Are there any prizes, any bragging rights? Actually, there's battle for the paddle. So there's a gold paddle, a hmm. silver paddle, and a bronze paddle that uh, is oh, going to be given on. out to the winners. Now, will you be in that cook off? Are you well, participating? Well, we're going to try, yeah. You're going to try? Okay. See. All right. Who, who are the judges? We don't know. Oh, okay, we there we know. go. That's good. Good. All right. But let's go back to season's beatings. Uh, again, November 28th. Where can folks buy tickets? They can get tickets at the auditorium. They can call there, but they can also call 985-518-0433. Uh, most people know me. They're on Facebook or social media, Mustang Mike. Uh, they also We also have a Gulf State Wrestling page. Um, all that has the ticket information along with all the local guys who's around town. They all are sharing the information, uh, social media. So please, if you're out there, please share it for us. If you see the flyer out there, please share it because, you know, word of mouth really helps out to better get it out there. And look, speaking of flyers, I have one handy dandy mm -hmm. flyer here and I'm going to hold on to it tightly because there's also... You can get a smoothie, uh, a dollar off a smoothie. This is right. actually a coupon in addition to a flyer. Right, right. If you'll see these flyers around town, uh, all of our local sponsors that help make this thing, of course, possible. Um, of course, yes, Smoothie King is one of our longtime sponsors. You can bring this flyer in with you and get a dollar off your smoothie as well. Mm -hmm. um, Let's but, talk about some of your sponsors. Yeah, there's, you know, there's so many that we have. If you pick these up somewhere, obviously I can't mention all of them, but we have some long-term sponsors that's really helped out with Toys for Tots in the past. Taco Bell, Performance Tire, The Galley, uh, Southern Designs, which is Stephanie Smith, who's also my cohort who helps make this happen mm -hmm. uh, with Toys for Tots. Uh, Sweet and Simple Cupcakes, L&L Tree Service, Chauvin's Patios, Southern Creations, and then, of course, Elite Graphics, who does all my artwork and everything, and, of course, Hangar 18 Productions, who does uh, all of my flyers and everything and does everything for us. He does great uh, graphic designs. Mm -hmm. So, of course, all of our sponsors make this happen all the time, which make these things possible to come up with what we need to be able to pay the bills and make these things happen. So we, and, of course, all the fans. So we just want everybody to come out, like I said, Sunday, November 28th, uh, doors open at 2.30, bell time 3.30. Uh, and like I said, Toys for Tots, the Marine Corps will be there. Uh, we're hoping to have a couple special surprise guests that's going to come. Um, but plenty of wrestling action, seven matches, two title matches. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to everybody coming and have a good time. Awesome. Uh, let's talk about volunteers. You guys also have volunteers that, that also that help. Um, I know at one time the Coast Guard. Yeah, the Coast Guard was big helping us out. A lot of them moved away. Uh, so now we get the Beta Club and the uh, ROTC from Morgan City High School. 
right. that comes and helps. Let's give one more shout out to the Battle of the Paddle. Of course, it's Gumbo Cook-Off again that's Saturday, this Saturday, November 13th at Mama G's in the parking lot. Chicken and sausage gumbo, of course. Also, um, you have the motorcycle poker run that's going to kick off at what time? Uh, 9 o'clock, that'll leave, and the bike should be back 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Awesome. And I want to ask you a question because I, I want, I've never seen any maybe women wrestlers. Have, do you have, have you ever had any women wrestlers here? We, we have. Uh, okay. There are few and far in between because, like I said, in the, in the world of professional wrestling, there's way more guy wrestlers. So uh, the women who are out there are, are really sought after. Mm -hmm. um, so it all comes down to scheduling when you can schedule somebody that they don't already have a date mm -hmm. picked. But we will be having some women uh, coming back in through us. We've had them in the past. Uh, looking forward to it because it makes a good uh, everybody wants yeah. to see a little bit of both you that's know? right awesome well thank you very much i appreciate both of you coming out you guys come on back right here on the voice to coast with yours truly